Hi, in this video we're going through how to get gold in the GTA 5 mission, Bury the Hatchet. Hi and welcome back, my name's Dan and I'm an old, grumpy gamer. Grand Theft Auto is a truly massive game. Between GTA 5 and the constant updates from Rockstar for GTA Online, there's no shortage of new content and interesting things to do. Join me then in our continuing series, Getting Gold in Every Damn Mission in GTA 5. As we take a look at the Grand Theft Auto mission, bury the hatchet. And don't forget to hang about until the end for our bonus tips on how to get through this one first time. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, we do how-to guides, news, and giveaways. So consider subscribing and ring the bell to stay up to date. Getting gold in this one is a lot of fun, but it can be a bit tedious if you fail to get gold a couple of times because of the mission time. So before you get started, I highly recommend you make sure Michael has full body armor. It's also a great idea to make sure Michael has an additional car in his garage. To get gold in this one, we'll need to kill 20 enemies with headshots, finish with an accuracy of 80%, and complete the mission in under 11 minutes flat. So we'll start with Trevor's approach, then we'll get to Michael's approach. And from there, we'll look at what happens after Trevor's grisly discovery. So, starting with Trevor. So we take control of Trevor here and we just need to head back to the airfield. There'll be a bit of exposition here that's well worth listening to. And as we approach the airfield here, we can just hang a left and the plane's in the hangar there, so we just want to make sure that we park out of the way so we don't clobber it when we jump in the machine. Head over. Climb in. There we go. Yank on that trigger and then taxi out to the runway. Excellent. There we go. Now, this machine is a little bit slow and a little bit more cumbersome than some of the other planes we've played with before, but it is fairly stable, so get that gear up. Bank off, and we just need to head towards that yellow dot. We're not going anywhere in particular. It's really just a case of gaining some altitude and staying in a reasonably straight line. There we go. And then it cuts to the, uh, the next scene. Okay, so next let's make the approach as Michael. All right, so we can see Trevor driving off there. We need to go and acquire ourselves a vehicle. And this is just painful, so just skip that as quick as you can. Truck's probably a bit slow, but if there's nothing else, we'll have to grab it. Skip that one too. All right, this looks quick. There we go. Right, so we have the GPS pop up straight away and now we need to head to the airport car park. Excellent, so we're making the approach to the car park here. So now it's going to tell you we want to go to the car park lower level. What we actually want to do is head to the top level. Right, and we'll start at Ludendorff back in Michael's car, or his rental car, I should say. There's some exposition, not a lot we can do here, it's just travel time. So follow the GPS, same as we did before. Okay, so we'll pull up to the right here, and the graveyard and the train line is just at the end here. Over the tracks, not going to get clobbered by a train this time. And skip the next cutscene as soon as we possibly can. We can see the marker there up on the left, so around the church. Up the back. And we can see Trevor there, so again, another big long cutscene we'll skip. There we go. You should already be in cover, so that's all good. So make use of Michael's ability here and just start pressing forward as soon as you possibly can. So that's those two sorted and they will have weapons if you're feeling a little bit naked. 
van there and we just keep some cover but um there's a few moments there where before they disperse you can light it up in one go there's that one to the right there he's just ducked behind that monolith there we go Now there's a bit of a chip there as well. Michael's ability does light up the contrast a bit so it's a bit easier to see where people are. And also these clowns are using automatics and flashlights so that's really really good to give away their position. One more up the back there. There we go. A few more down the right but that's okay we'll press forward. Grab some cover again. Excellent, press forward and grab some more cover and that will draw them out which makes it a bit easier to pick them off. Excellent, there we go. So remember to take that extra second if you can just to get that headshot. We do need to get a few of them before the game's out and there's not a lot of enemies left. That was neat. Very nice of him to pop his head up like that. So there looks like there's just a couple more behind the car and just off the uh, off the grade here. There we go. Very nice of them to give away their positions like that. There we are. So I counted two more left. Let's uh, confirm that. That's one left, hopefully. Where is he? Sounds like there's some more gunfire a bit further back there. So grab some cover again, and hopefully these idiots will expose themselves in a few moments. So not a lot of visibility there, just using the reticle to show where the enemy was so we could just take the shot and make it plumb. That's him sorted. The cars on the left there, don't worry about them, just head straight for the vehicle. Get in, skip the cutscene again as soon as it comes up. There we go, and we are auto swapped back to Trevor. Yank on that accelerator and head towards the airfield. Okay, so we can see the airfield there in the distance, so we'll just line up for an approach. Drop the gear whenever you're ready and gently pop her down. There we go. Barely even a bounce. That was absolutely lovely. Fantastic. So we'll pull up to the marker and near enough is good enough. And uh, just overshot it there. So can jump straight on out and that should be gold. There we go. 10 minutes and 40 seconds. So we made it with 20 seconds to spare and 81% accuracy. We got those 20 headshots as well. I think we only just scraped that in with the last couple. So thanks for hanging about until the end. Here are my top tips on how to get through this one first time. Keep pushing forward through Chen's men and try to avoid being pinned down. And Trevor's plane travels at higher speeds when it's at higher altitude. So you can ascend early in the return journey to reduce your travel time a little bit. So, what are your thoughts? Do you have any tips for other viewers, or could this have been done differently? Leave your comment down below. And check out the video on the left for the next storyline mission, or the one on the right for some more old, grumpy gamer goodness. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.